こんにちは。I'm a Sammy.Today we are going to make another type of Japanese strawberry shortcake.Let's get started.First of all, preheat the oven to 180 Celsius or 360 Fahrenheit.Then line the baking tray with paper.Sift 75 grams of flour onto a piece of paper. We sift flour to not only remove lumps but also to add air into the flour, so it incorporates easily. Add 80 grams of sugar to 3 eggs and whisk to dissolve. Prepare the hot water in a pot and place the bowl of egg over it, warming the egg until it gets tepid. Warming the eggs helps them whip more easily, but be careful not to warm too much. Once the egg becomes tepid, transfer into a mixing bowl. Then whip with a whisk attachment at the highest speed for about 3 minutes. Then turn to the lower setting and whisk for another 2 minutes. When drawing a line in the batter, you can see it doesn't fade away. Beautiful! Make sure to whip your batter until it looks like mine. Add the sifted flour in three parts and mix gently from bottom to top. Be careful not to over mix. I've got 10 grams of unsalted butter, 15 ml of milk, and 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract together in this bowl, then just microwave it to melt. Add some cake butter into this butter, milk, and vanilla mixture, stir to combine, then add to the cake butter. This will make it easier to incorporate. Mix quickly from bottom to top. Be careful not to over mix. The more you stir, the more your cake will be dense. Pour the cake batter into the baking tray and spread evenly. Pop it into the preheated oven and bake for about 15 minutes. Let it cool at room temperature. Meanwhile, let's prepare the cream. Add 40 grams of sugar to 500 ml of whipping cream. Whip it up until medium peaks. Cut the sponge cake into equal width pieces. Two of them will be in the center, so I cut a slit to make it easier to roll. Brush with the simple syrup. Here, I'm using organic cane sugar syrup, so my syrup has a brown color, but you can use your favorite sugar. For the syrup, simply mix 3 tablespoons of water and 2 tablespoons of sugar. Bring to a boil to dissolve the sugar, then let cool. I often make it with a microwave because it's easier. Spread the whipped cream evenly onto the sponge cake. The amount is up to you, but make sure to keep some cream for decoration. Then place the sliced strawberries all over the sponge cake. Spread the cream over the strawberries just to fill the gaps between them. Roll the cake up gently like this and place it onto your favorite plate. Then wrap the rest of the sponge cake around it to make a circle. You can finish this cake by piping cream and decorating with some fruit, but I'm going to frost the cake today. How to decorate is totally up to you, so please have fun with it. You can find a detailed recipe on my blog. I'll leave the link in the description box below. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. It always means a lot. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Arigato and sayonara. Bye!